Welcome to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at Phantom. Let's get into the price action and see what's going on. Okay, so primarily what we're still looking for here is further evidence that we have a low in place here. And what we want to see for confirmation of that would be actually to see this develop into a one, two, a bigger third wave up towards this $2.82, and then getting an additional fourth and a fifth looking for a big five wave structure off the off these lows that we have here now this remains alive for as long as we stay above this 2207 we can look for this possibility of extending up here now it is also possible this could just be a b and c in which case what this would mean is this is just a corrective move to the upside and we could actually then potentially still look to actually break down and take these lows of the 1655 so we need to just be cautious what we want to see is good structure to the upside developing ideally looking to hit this $2.82 as a third wave target. Now, there are a couple of other things we need to discuss here. There is still the potential that from further back here, this could be an A, B, and a C as a flat correction, in which case this would mean that we actually have that potential still to break down one more time, looking for this zone of this uh, 1457 to this 0912. So this would be something we need to be careful of as that we aren't forming five wave structure to the downside, looking to actually come back into this fifth wave typical zone here. So we, as long as we hold that key support zone and this channel, you know, potentially we can look to still look to push to the upside. But if we actually start to break down and uh, lose this channel and start to lose those key support zones and actually take out this low, the 1655, this will be the target area that I am aiming for. So we're going to go into the subwave counting now. Now there is a couple of ways of looking at this move currently. And what we were talking about is basically looking for a couple of things within here where we were looking previously for the idea of having a fourth wave in here. The problem is it's gotten quite large. The only way this would make sense is if we actually have something like a triangle in here. And that would look actually something like this. So we're going to just switch this count out. So this is something I'm just being mindful of while we are within these two zones. So for as long as we remain above this 30 cent 41 and below this high here, which would be this B wave high of this 5468, what we could actually see is this develop as a bigger triangle here. Now this could be in, in a B wave um, location so this whole triangle could be a b here or potentially if we are looking at this as a third wave this could actually become a fourth wave and then we could actually look to push up in a fifth so we're gonna have to keep an eye on this um, i wouldn't say that is completed yet and that it would need some additional legs for this to take place now if we do look at this as an a b and a c and we actually do break down one more time towards this 32 cent 39 what we could then see is actually looking for a bounce to the upside in a three wave move now i've got two target zones here the d this higher one here is based off of this b wave looking at that 0 0.618 area so that could actually tie in quite nicely to coming back into this top trend line if we see something like this alternatively the lower one here which is in green is based off of this move here so what we could actually have is that instead of um, instead of having a relationship to uh, this wave, we could have it to this wave. So these are why we've got two different target areas here. So this would actually be between this 40, uh, 4551 to this 4575 area as a smaller zone. So what I want to see is if we just form something like this, three wave move up, three wave move down, what we could then get off the back of this is a much bigger five wave move to the upside playing out. We're going to have to just, uh, you know, pay attention to this and continue to see how this plays out. This would invalidate by either crossing this 30 cent 41 or crossing back above this 5468. So this is something we just need to be uh, just be aware of here as a potential count within the structure. Now, the other way that we were talking about this is looking for the potential that, you know, we could have a bigger corrective structure playing out here instead of looking at this as a triangle. And what this would be looking for is effectively looking at this move as a bigger corrective move here, where this is W, this is X, and this is Y to the downside. Now, this would tie into, this would still tie into that idea of looking to push up because we can see here that this one to one would actually bring us into this 2556. And if I just overlay this other count onto here, we can see that that would be down here towards the 702, which would be this 2479. Obviously, a little bit higher up here we do have this zone of the 618 at this 2784 so i'm keeping an eye on this if we do start to break down like i said um for this potential to push to the upside i wouldn't really want to see us come much lower than this uh, 2207 and we'd have to be mindful of what structure we form on the way down here because otherwise we could have a more bearish um, count playing archer 
where we could see this actually be a one two another one two here and then we actually look to break down in a bigger way so the key target areas here for, for this count would actually be this 1828 so we'd want to see a bigger third wave to the downside now it's possible we could see this extend out here where we start to break down in a bigger way looking for this 1828 as a confirmation of this as a third wave move here and then we'd have to look out for that potential of a fourth a fifth and then an additional fourth and a fifth which would actually take us down to new lows so this is the bearish count that i'm currently monitoring here um, really for as long as we stay below this 5468 this count would stay um, viable and invalidation would basically come by crossing back above this high here of the 6562 if we do cross back above this high it would be likely we're looking for that one-to-one -one target to the upside instead now we're talking about that potential that we could actually be looking to break down here so what would this look like so this would look like something like this in my opinion and what i'd be looking for is a key area for a five wave move here looking at this as a one and a two would actually be this 2646 so if we continue to break down here in a bigger way this would be a potential zone we could actually look for a third wave to come into and then we'd be looking for a fifth wave a fourth wave to the upside and a fifth wave down now uh, the typical target zone for this as a fifth would actually be here towards the zone of this 2522 to this 2337 uh, so so this would be looking to bring us down in a five wave sequence like this uh, the key thing here is that if we had a five wave move that ended where we end here this wouldn't be deep enough to be impulsive of this move here so what this would mean is this could actually just be a b and c which would fit into that corrective count and it would also maintain that support so as long as we remain above the 1655 there still is potential that we could see this move um, play out as a corrective structure to the downside here but then looking to reverse to the upside so this is something we're going to have to keep an eye on the internals are not suggesting that we are going to be breaking down that low though what i'm looking at within the internals here is treating this as a one two one two here this becomes a third wave here. I'm looking for a fourth. So as long as we stay in the short term below this 37.97, what we could actually see is another five wave move play out here towards this 34.09, looking for additional structure here in uh, another two fourth and fifth waves. So what I'd wanna see is if we do break down one more time here, if we only get a three wave move to the upside, potentially back into this zone here staying below this area of this 3842 what i would be looking for then is continuation down here in a fifth wave now this would be quite an interesting level because this would actually bring us into instead of looking at this as a one and a two this would actually bring us into that level where this is one to one with this previous five wave move so from here if we actually come back up and take this high it would it would invalidate any extension to the downside so this is going to be key this high here of this uh, 4457 now it doesn't mean that this can't become an a we get a b wave up and then we get a c wave down in a corrective move but what this does mean is if we do start to break up from this one to one level in a bigger five wave structure it could mean that we're actually starting to continue um, the next leg to the upside here so what would that look like so basically i'm looking at this in two ways i still haven't uh, gotten rid of the idea that you know we could have a five wave move here and this is actually just a bigger corrective move to the downside in which case what we would be looking for would be the alternate count where we're looking for this as a fourth wave low in which case we're going to have to treat this as a wave one and then we're looking for that wave two now it has gotten quite large which is why not my primary expectation but really for as long as we hold this key support zone here uh, what we could see is a breakout so this 3427 we can also see that this ties in quite nicely with a retest of this channel so if we actually do maintain this 3427 and maintain above this 30 cent 41 what i'd be on the lookout for would be that potential to either see this play out as a b and c in which case we could see a move up to the 60 90 alternatively if we develop a bigger five wave move up here this could then actually set us up for this being a one two three we'd look for an additional fourth and then we'd be looking for a fifth wave which could actually look to bring us up towards this one dollar seven to this 93 cent range so that would be based off of these moves happening exactly to these targets obviously depending on the structure these can look to extend out and then you know we could be looking at a bigger structure developing where we actually form this as a bigger third wave here and we look to progress up in 
a bigger zone. Now, the thing is that we'd have to be cautious of here is if we do get another five wave move up like this, this would put us right into that zone of that one to one, which is sitting at this $1.20. So if we do develop a five wave move up here, we'd have to watch this retracement to the downside if it fails to find support and it actually starts to break down in a bigger five wave sequence what this could mean is that this whole move to the upside has just been a corrective structure as an abc and then we could actually be coming back to test new lows here so we're gonna have to watch this if we do break up into these levels what we want to see is basically either this five wave move extend out and reach this two dollars 82 or we want to see this move form another five wave move here and find support if that's the case what we could then have here is that this could be one two this could be another one two here and this would indicate a much bigger move to the upside so this is what we're looking for um for you know bullish counts we need to get up towards us two dollars 82 or we need to continue to maintain these lows so the key one here at the moment is this 30 cent 41 if we maintain that we can look for this potential to have a direct push to the upside alternatively if we do not maintain that what we could have here is either a corrective move here where we treat this as a w this is an x and then we're looking for that y wave down towards this 2556 or we could actually develop a five wave move here and this could actually be a b and then c so we're gonna have to keep an eye on this if this forms a five wave structure here where like i said before we're looking at this one two one two we get a bigger third fourth and a fifth fourth and a fifth what this could then be is an A, B, and a C. To the downside, one to one would be 25.56. Alternatively, this could be A, B, and C, in which case we could either maintain this low and look to push to the upside, or if we break this low here, this could actually just be a WXY completed early. Now, ideally, what I'd want to see is at least crossing this zone here of this 0 0.618 which would be here at this 3414 so even if we just dropped down here as a b and c crossing this 0 0.618 this could actually be enough for us to um for us to have a y wave in this location where we've just fallen short and not actually crossed this uh, w wave again in which case what we could see is a reversal to the upside so the key thing here is we want to see nice five wave structure to the upside if we are looking to reverse uh, if we see a three wave move basically i'd be looking out for that idea of this is a triangle three wave move up three wave move down and then we look to push to the upside if however you know we just get a smaller three wave move and we fail to take these highs need to be careful of that extension here where we could get a bigger push to the downside looking for you know that bigger impulsive target that we were talking about in the one two option which would actually be looking for this 1828 area as a possible third wave off the back of this move Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Leave us some feedback down below. And also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. As well as that, you'll find affiliate links for both PrimeXBT and Bybit down there. Both great exchanges we use on a regular basis. Check them out for yourself if you do not have an account. Using the affiliate link does help support the channel. We do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.